It's the Nia's world Vlogs plus she got reactions You should see this girl Going up she never lacking It's the Nia you see her Bringing flames man what Gotta shout out T gang Stand up stand up What is up with my gang? What is up with my squad? T gang in this thing. What's poppin' with y'all? What's up T gang? Welcome back to my channel. So today, today I be telling y'all a story time. So the last story time I did actually did pretty well for just it being up for a few days. If y'all ain't checked that video out, I, I don't really put things up in the eye, but I'll put it in the eye for y'all for this video. Today's video, well today's story time, not today's video, will be about the time I pretty much I didn't fight my my best friend in high school, but it, it was it was pushing them limits. But she was getting real real close. And after this whole entire story time I'm about to tell y'all today, we ain't been best friends since. Smash the like button, comment something you want to see below. Comment whatever you would do in this situation because honestly I could have did a whole bunch, but I'll tell y'all why I didn't do much. Cause trust and believe the Lord was on her side that day. Also subscribe, click the bell, join the gang. If you're new, then definitely subscribe because we're going nowhere but us. Definitely follow me on my Instagram, the real underscore East is the world. <laughs> Go follow me. So this happened, when did this happen? Sophomore year. So the last story time I told y'all was like the most recent story time y'all ever gotten that quick. Like it was back to back. This happened in sophomore year. Me and my best friend, I met my best friend freshman year. How I met her, I thought I was going to have an issue with her. <laughs> And it's kind of funny because she actually is subscribed to my channel still. She's still subscribed, so if she see this video, oh well, she she know. <laughs> but now it's play. <laughs> Freshman year, I had met her first day actually, and the it was first period actually. I was sitting there just listening to the teachers, listening to all the rules that they always got on create. You know, it's freaking pointless. I was sitting there listening to them, and I just like I look back because one of my friends actually I think he sat behind me, or he was like the next row over, and he sat like the seat behind me so I was looking back and as I'm looking back she's every time I'm looking at him she's looking at me but it's kind of like kind of like she's trying to see if she know me from somewhere like y'all know that look like they not like looking like they got a problem with you but they looking at you like like you look familiar I was like why does this girl keep looking at me like and then I started copping her attitude slightly pretty much that's how I met her right so then we just like grew this friendship out of nowhere like we was like so freaking like i used to we used to hang out outside of school we used to go out to eat go to the mall she started freaking knowing my family i started well actually her and her nephew are actually like a year apart so i mean i didn't know her nephew but he used to always like look at me but then once he knew that we was best friends and he stopped but like that was honestly like as far as I knew with her family. Sophomore year, y'all, it's this new kid at school, right? Uh, every all the girls is like, it's like honestly everybody know when it's a new student, everybody trying to get to know them first. Everybody trying to you know put them part of whatever gang they or click or whatever they got. So I think the dude is cute. She knows that that's like my type. So at the time he was light skinned and he had like shoulder length of dread. He just like he looked different and like. I don't like dudes that look like they come from my city. And every everybody like my freaking ex and he not from my city. Every dude I've talked to never came from my city. Like I've never talked to anybody from my city. He just like had this whole different look about him. Like he just didn't look like he came from Sacramento. I was telling her like I like, well I didn't like him. Cause I, I feel like for me to say I like you, I gotta like talk to you and I gotta know you and build this like bond before I say I like you. But I thought he was cute. She was like, I think I had like one, he was in one of my classes or something, but he got switched because they gave him the wrong classes. So I had found out his name, but I didn't get to talk to him cause he said so, he said so far. I was like, <laughs> why? But I like, so that's how I got to know his name, but I didn't get to talk to him. So then she was like, oh yeah, He's, I think she said was in her PE class or something. And she was like, he got an accent. And I was like, wait a minute. If y'all know me, look, y'all can watch my channel and y'all gonna know your girl love accents. Like it could, it don't even, it don't even have to be like, like, cause I love New York. I love New York accents, but it don't gotta be New York. It could be, I'm starting to understand. I'm starting to like Chicago's accent. I didn't even really like they accent for the longest. I'm like, what kind of accent does it sound like he got? Like I need to, I was, I was specific in high school. I need to know 
what because i i didn't like chicago accents or like anything like that so i was like if it don't sound like something i'm gonna want to listen to i'm not gonna want it so she was like she told me i think she said like a memphis accent or something i'm starting to notice i i be watching like like duke dennis i watch duke dennis i freaking love his accent money bag yo i don't listen to him but i like his accent like i just i don't know i'm starting to fall in love like memphis accents but at the time i didn't know what a memphis accent sound like but the i don't know is that weird to say I just like the name Memphis? Like, <laughs> I ain't never been in Memphis. I don't know nobody from Memphis, but I just like the word, the name Memphis. I don't know. She was like, it sounds like it's like a Memphis accent. So I'm like, ah. <laughs> Y'all know I hate when dudes do this, right? I was like, ah. <laughs> we was walking and she's like, I'm like, you gotta, you gotta hook me up. Like when we see him, if we see him, cause this was lunchtime. I was like, if we see him, you gotta hook me up. She was like, okay, I got you. So we walk in, we just walking around the school because honestly we didn't have nothing else to do but walk around this freaking school during lunchtime. So we was just walking and we stopped at the front and she was talking to like one of the little teachers or I forgot what she used to do. I honestly didn't really pay her no attention because the first time I met her, she was cool because she's like, oh my gosh, my name sounds so close to your name. And then freaking school started and she just switched completely. So I don't know what she used to do, <laughs> honestly, but she was like a teacher or something. She, my best friend was talking to the teacher and then she was like, a whole bunch of other kids started surrounding the teacher as well. So then my best friend was like, oh, there he goes. So he's in the office, right? This is where all the tea spills, right? I'm like, I wanted to go talk to him, but your girl was scared. So I was like, is this something your girl really, is it like when I'm really, really nervous, my hands sweat, I start shaking, I get cold. And that is all the emotions that is going through my body right at this second. I'm like, let's just go talk to him. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna get this opportunity again. I don't know what I'm gonna say. That's why I was kind of like, do I wanna talk to him? Cause I don't even know what I'm gonna say. She was like, I'll just start it off. And then I'll just let you take off. Y'all hear that, right? I will start it off and I'll let you take over. That didn't happen. We get in there, he's sitting right here, she's sitting right here, I'm sitting like across from him. So I'm like, oh, this is perfect eye contact. I could be talking to him and we got eye contact, you know? They start talking, she was like, I think you you in my class or one of my classes or something. She was like, yeah, I, I think it was like PE or something. They started talking, so I'm like, okay. She, she kind of small talking him a little too much now. Like, I can't even get a word in. I was getting, I was getting hot, y'all, I was ready to, I don't know, cause the reason why I couldn't fight her is because I was in, <laughs> I don't wanna be no police because honestly, I just, I don't know, I just don't wanna be no police. But the reason why I was in a police academy is because I wanted to do forensics. And like, I used to always watch forensic files and stuff. Like I wanted to be in forensics, but that was the only way I could get in. Huh? And then I found out I think you gotta be like a cop or something for like a certain amount of years before you can do it. And I was like, wait, what? So I had to be a cop before I could really do what I really, really wanna do. That don't even sound right. And then the more I started being in the class, the more I started realizing everybody in the class was fake. Like one minute, oh, I don't like her. And then the next minute, oh, we're best friends. And then it was like the dudes was kinda like, like not, they was, honestly, I didn't go to school with many of us. If you, if you get where I'm coming from, I didn't go to school with many of us. So, so I felt alone. There was just one, there was one, one of us. And he didn't act like us. You catch my drift? I know you catch my drift. I didn't, I just started feeling like alone in that class. So I was like, by the time like junior year came, I got out of that class. Cause I was like, I'm, I'm done. But that was the reason why I couldn't fight her because the school I went to wasn't in my district. So I had to join an academy in order to go to that school. And I wanted to do forensics, so I was all snaps. I gotta freaking do police academy and walk around freaking police uniform and stuff. Once I got there, I started learning there was other academies, but I couldn't freaking change at that point. Dumb, right? So that was why I couldn't fight her. So that's why I'm telling y'all, the Lord was on her side because I'm telling, if I, I could fight her, I probably would've fought her right then and there. And lunch was like literally getting closer and closer to being over. She just comes out of nowhere, y'all. They, they they small talking, right? They small talking. I'm sitting there, I'm trying to like throw in little questions. I'm trying to like include myself so he don't forget your girl is there, you know? She's like, she just hits him with the, yeah, I actually like you. She didn't just say what I think she just said to this man. And, and I don't remember what his answer was. I think he was like, he said something like a dude would say. Like, I don't even know exactly what he said, but it was kind of like, 
he was feeling her, but not like you know, like if you a dude, y'all probably know, like where you say like one thing and then you do like completely the opposite, like that. Like that's exactly what he did. Like he said it like he was into her, knowing she was gonna fall for it, but he really not into her. Lunch, I'm telling y'all, lunch is almost over. So now the freaking conversation is getting more. Honestly, now I can tell y'all this story and not even get mad. But like at the time, it was just like I was like. What's that man's name in Hercules? He had fight. He had fire. He's like, can I get your number? She was like, oh, and she started trying to play it off. And, oh yeah. So she took the phone, put her number in. So now, this is where I was kind of like over talking to him. Like I didn't want to talk to him anymore when he said this because at the time I was like, I used to talk to like a lot more like square, athletish type of guys, but I actually learned. I don't want you to be like crazy crazy, but I don't need you to be a square. You gotta be right in the middle, right? You gotta be right in the middle. Cause sometimes I be wanting to turn up and then if if you chill all the time and I'm turned up, then then you know? He started small talking to her and stuff. He said so now I can't say it exactly. So just catch on. He said something like I I used to Oh, that's what they said. So I think she asked him or I, one of us asked him why he got transferred. So he was like, oh yeah, I used to sell white or I used to sell something. Now y'all know what that mean, right? Y'all know what that mean. So I'm, at the time I'm like, oh no, no, I'm good. Well now I still would say no, but I wouldn't be like as scared. I would just be like, no, nah, I'm good. But at the time I was like, wait, what? And then she was like, she tried to play it off. The bell rings. We get outside the freaking office. This boy, it was his first day in our high school and already was getting into it with dudes from like other parts like there was that was this, i ain't gonna say where he from exactly because he do youtube as well but there was this other dude that was from he was from california but he was from a different part of california i think they was beefing or something i don't over what i don't know because honestly half the beefs in my high school was pointless and dumb <laughs> so this was his first day at the school or actually it could have been like a week I, I wouldn't say it was his first day probably like a week and he was already in the freaking the principal's office But they had him sitting outside for lunch. We walk outside the office She's like trying to get to her class. And I'm trying to get to my class. So I'm still kind of hot You know, I walked to my class and the next day I like see now I'm telling y'all I'm over the situation right now But at the time I was like really upset with this girl like I was so upset I I was so upset for like a few days. So the next day happened. She's like, are you are you upset because I gave him my number? And I was like, I'm not upset. It's not even about him. Cause he, I, t I told y'all in my King Von documentary, like I know I get a dude in like the next second or the next day or whatever. Like I'm not really tripping over the dude part. I'm tripping over the fact that you supposed to be my best friend and you just did this. Like if you was just a regular friend, I would have still been upset, but I wouldn't have been as upset cause it's like, we didn't really been, bond, like build this whole bond or this connection or anything. So that's why I was more upset. Cause I'm like, you are supposed to be my best friend. You not just my friend, you my best friend. How you my best friend and you doing all this? That's what I'm thinking. It's not even about the fact that you gave him your number. It's about the fact that I pretty much can't, no, actually I didn't even say all that. I, I did tell her that I was upset, but she kept like trying to brush it off and make it seem like it was nothing. So she was like, oh, he hasn't even texted me yet. I gave him my number and stuff. I'm like, that's not, that's not even the point. The whole point, I'm not saying this, but I'm thinking to myself like this, the whole point is that you is my best friend. That's the whole point. That's the whole reason I'm telling y'all this story time, right? I was talking to somebody and I was, I needed some advice. Cause I was like, am I tripping? Like, is this something we can get over? Or is this like something? Cause at the time I was like, I'm gonna hold on to this forever. <laughs> so I started telling somebody else. And I was like, I think you should just tell her how you feel. So I told her, I tried to call her. I tried to call her twice, but she didn't pick up. So I text her, I did. It was a, it was a decent paragraph. It wasn't like big, big, but it, it was, it was up there. So I text her and I told her, like I went into detail on how I was feeling at every point. Like, <laughs> 
Like, I was going into I was going into detail. Like, you gonna feel where I'm coming from. So she was like, wow, that's crazy. You don't want to be my best friend anymore over some dude. And I'm like, it's not even over some dude. It's over the fact that you my best friend. That's the whole point. Like, like that's honestly the whole point of this story time. Like, you my best friend. But you just did me wrong, though. Like, we wasn't even best friends. Like, you used to say we were sisters. Like, so if we was really sisters, you would do your sister like this. Like, what? What? So then she got like mad and then she just, I, I kept the messages literally for like the end of the school year. Like this happened, I think April, March or April of sophomore year. I kept it all the way until the end of the school year. So just in case she tried to be like, oh, she did that. I got all the messages, boo boo. This girl gets so freaking petty. <laughs> she tells another one of our friends that I used to look at her like my best friend too. She tells her, she tells her some of the truth, but then she kind of like switches it up a little bit. So she, I started talking to the other girl and she's like, oh yeah, she said pretty much you can't trust her over some dude. And then I was like, so we like this though. That's how we feeling. I'm like, you know what? I'm over, I'm over it. I'm over it, boo boo. After sophomore year, I, I think she either left our high school or something happened. Or I just I don't I don't think I just seen her for the rest of that I don't know how in the world that happened I don't know if she was like avoiding me or what but I just never seen her from that day on okay so I wasn't even gonna include this which I, I was it was funny because I was kind of like running over like all the facts that happened that day well during this whole entire situation I wasn't gonna tell y'all this but me her and her god sister we used to like all hang out like every single day like we had I think we had like a group chat. We used to have each other's numbers. We used to like, like we was like cool, cool. Like, <laughs> like we was cool, right? She does some stuff. So the guy sister meets me in one of the classrooms for lunch and we sitting there talking and then she comes in there and she's like, oh, I didn't come up with a nickname. I don't feel like coming up with a nickname. So we just gonna call her so-and-so, okay? So she was like, oh, so-and-so, let's go walk around. So she did that to leave me in a classroom by myself. So I'm like, I don't know if you're doing that to make me mad, but literally I could just pull my headphones out and go on YouTube and be on YouTube, baby boop. That happened that year. Junior year, it was the first day of junior year. Make this some stuff. It's always first day of something with this girl, right? First day of junior year, it was my best friend from seventh grade, which we kind of, yeah, that'd be a whole different story time for something else. Eighth grade, we kind of fell off. Freshman year, we kind of clicked back up and then she moved out of state and then she came back. So like, you see how rocky that friendship is? But I seen her, so I'm talking to her. And then like my boy best friend came in, so I'm like, oh, that you got it! I got it. like I was so excited because I was like, oh, this is about to be one of them classrooms where girl just might get kicked out for talking. Like that was this classroom. Like I used to get kicked. Why well, didn't I didn't used to get kicked out? I used to get warnings because after that first warning, I used to shut up because I was like, I don't. I don't feel like going to any of them damn freaking classrooms in high school it used to be crazy. So I was not trying to, I was not going for it. Like I'll talk and I'll get a warning and I'll be quiet. I'm like, okay, okay. You gave me my warning, I'll shut up. We all live there, all three of us talking and then my boy best friend, his friend comes in there and he was trying to, you know, anyway, you know, he was included in this whole entire not situation because nothing really popped off, but he was he was a part of that conversation that I was having with with the other two that I like. Okay, I think I sat in the very very back of the class, but I don't remember exactly where I was sitting. Okay, so she comes in the classroom and says, "Oh snap, ain't this some stuff?" I'm thinking she still got a problem with me. I'm thinking like this is gonna be one of them years where <laughs> it went from oh I'm about to be having fun to now this year about to be oh. Every few seconds, it just might be an argument between us. <laughs> she comes in, she sits down. I can feel her energy and it's not like aggressive. Like, it's like, I feel bad. So she comes and she sits by me and she's like, hey, now she's trying to be cool with me. I feel bad, I'm sorry. And I'm like, it's, it's cool. I still wasn't over it to be 100%, which I mean, I was over it. Like I wasn't as mad as when it first happened, but I, I still wasn't really over it. And then she's like, can we like hang out during lunch or something? And I'm like, I think I said I, I, I forgot what I said. I know I didn't say yeah and I know I didn't say no. I had gave her like an answer like if you see me, you see me type of answer. <laughs> so that's pretty much what I told her and then she's like, oh okay. And then she just like sat there like quietly throughout the whole entire period. So I had a zero period in junior year. 
So as I was leaving my zero period, I had seen her coming up the stairs for her first period. And that was the last time I seen her. I ain't seen this girl since that day. I don't know where she went. I don't even know if she graduated. She didn't graduate at my school if she did, but I don't know where she went. But that was the story time, y'all, y'all let me know. So I wanna know what y'all would do in this situation. I could have fought her. So I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all are thinking, why didn't you fight her? Y'all let me know. So smash the like button, comment something you wanna see below. Comment whatever you would have did in this situation. Also subscribe, click the bell, join the gang. If you're new, then definitely subscribe because we're going over. But uh, definitely follow me on my Instagram, the real underscore is to me as a world. Till next time, remember it's T gang or no gang. We out. Ooh.